Right, so we're here live with Maurice Ambitious Lee, right here at the Mayweather Money Team uh, Promotions at Pearl Casino Las Vegas. So can you kind of give us an update, man? What's going on with you? When's your next fight? Oh man, you know I'm in the gym working hard every day, getting ready. Just uh, my manager looking to put me on in January. Hopefully I land on the uh, Ashley versus Broner undercard in Atlanta. That's what we're planning on. So you know we're just working hard, staying ready. So they set a date for that? That that card? Yeah, that card is the end of January, most likely. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you know at this point in your career, how many times are you looking to fight? You know, in 2016. Well, 2016 got to be a big year for me. Uh, I'm 23. I feel like I only have five pro fights, so I'm ready to step on the gas. I already talked to Floyd. I already talked to my manager, Dewan Blake. So they're looking to move me at least eight to ten times next year. And uh, I'm looking for a title shot in the beginning of 2017. Oh, so you're, you're going to be moving real fast next yeah, year. Yeah, I'm fighting a six-rounder and jump straight to an eight-rounder. Fight about four of those, get to the ten-rounder, and then uh, stay right there until I get that title shot. So, you know, just being around Floyd, you know, obviously being around the rest of the money team in the gym all the time, what kind of motivation does that give you? Man, it's just a, it's just a real motivation because I remember being a little kid, 16, 17, watching Floyd every day, uh, visualizing I'm going to be where I'm at today. And to actually be here, it's a blessing. It's amazing. And then I guess for the people who don't know about you yet, because, you know, you are young in your career, um, just tell them about what's your weight class. Oh, yeah. Well, my last fight was at 140, but, you know, we're looking to go back down to lightweight, 135. Uh, I'll probably fight my next fight at 140 and the next one at, like, 38. Work my way down there because I want to get the title at 135. But, um, you know, my lightweight, southpaw, 5-0, and 3 KOs. I don't know, man, it's just something to watch out for. Definitely, man. So just a quick question I want to ask you about, kind of like a hot-button topic in boxing right now. Um, I heard it was ironed out, but I'm not sure. So Canelo and Triple G, you know, those two guys are supposed to fight. Yeah. And uh, Canelo wants to make Triple G go down to 155 pounds. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, I mean, Canelo, you know, if he wants to make it at 55, you know, Triple G is a big dude. But, you know, we've seen cases where a lot of champions had to come down to fight the smaller champions. So, you know, if Triple G is comfortable with it, make it happen, it's going to be a great fight. Once you get your belt, who do you want to fight? Like, you know, who, who do you want to defend it against? Like, is there is there anyone you can think of right now that you watch and you say, man, I really I mean, want I to fight like, this guy? I'm a, like, I'm, I feel like I could beat Omar Figueroa. Uh -huh. You know, nothing flashy about that dude. You know, um, I actually spar, you know, top dudes at 135 already. Uh, John Molina Jr. And I sparred, it was his spar, sparred him many times. Uh, Mickey Bay sparred him. He's a great champ fighting tonight. Look fighting tonight, yeah. My boy. So like uh, uh, Victor Pasto, I sparred him. How did that go? Uh, you know, seems like a tricky kind of awkward, uh, awkward it was, guy. It was good work. It mm -hmm. was good work. You know, I, uh, the only person that ever give me a a, a whooping and sparring is Floyd. Uh -huh. So can you I, tell I, us a little bit about that? Yeah, man. Well, you know, Floyd he taught me a lot. You know, with that, with sparring with him. You know, the first time, a learning experience. You know, we sparred only uh, a few times, but the first time was a learning experience. Mm. Uh, man, hit hard, power, uh, great, man. You'll never, you hardly will see a talent like Floyd again in boxing, you know. He was so uh, special and gifted with the craft, you know. I'm just hoping to, you know, peak with him eventually in my career under his guidance. All right. And then one quick question. Uh, you know, a friend of ours is uh, Timothy Spotlight Lee. You know, he's a young kid yeah, coming up. Yeah. Want to know, uh, what, do you, what do you think about him, man? Like, uh, what do you think Lee, about he's going to do in his know, career? He a Lee. You know, like I tell him, he leaves, you know. That's my little bro. Uh, strong puncher. I sparred him before. Good talent. Uh, he going to make a lot of noise in his division, you know, 47-pounder. Uh, look out for him. Any uh, message for your fans? Tell them where we can follow you at yeah, and everything? Uh, shout out to all my fans. I appreciate y'all. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here. And there go my fitness coach, Chris, you know I me? Mean? Top fitness coach in the game. Getting me right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, follow me on Instagram at ambitious underscore Lee. Twitter, ambitious underscore Lee. And Facebook, go like my like page, Maurice Ambitious Lee. You heard the man follow him. He's young and coming up. Thank you.